Hey, what's up, all you Tabaholics? This is Paul here, aka Paula Busa, back with another video where we do yet another product review from Taobao every single week. So, if you're new here, please do consider to subscribe. Now, we begin the program with this the Tagus Man bag that I featured a couple of months ago on the bag that I use for travel. Now, it's really because when you travel, you do a lot of shopping, and a backpack definitely offers much more space for you to carry your shopping around so i use this backpack now is this the best backpack if you travel or go about your day-to-day -day life i believe not because i have found something better and here it is guys the bobby bag by XD Design, which is headquarters in China, and you will find this bag on Taobao for a mere 78 Singapore dollars. A bit pricey, but very much worth the price. We'll get to that in a bit later. Now, I used to watch this program on History Channel a lot, and I absolutely enjoyed it. It's basically about this British guy traveling around the world, exposing various tourist scams um, that you be prone to if you travel there. Many of these episodes actually cover pickpockets and these pickpockets, they are very skillful and if you carry around a bag like that with so much of openings at the back, they are so skillful they can just walk with you and they can put their hands in and take whatever things they want. Which brings me to the Bobby bag. The Bobby bag is actually an anti-theft backpack designed so that all the openings are not facing outwards, they are facing inwards. So nobody has access to them but yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, the way that we perceive backpacks throughout time has always been a bit distorted. The zippers, the openings, why should it be facing outwards? They should be facing only the owner of the bag itself. And this is what the Bobby has done. The Bobby bag has no visible openings. They're all accessible at the back. Now this is not a new concept, you know, but uh, a lot of people are actually concerned about the accessibility of the bag once you put in such anti theft features. However, as a user of this bag, I can assure you it doesn't affect me at all. There are only a couple of things that you need easy access to, which is your phone, your money, and in my case, cigarettes. So there are a few compartments in the bag that gives you quick access to the small items that you need. So, let's go into a quick tour of the bag and its features. Now, the Ball B bag is a hard shell bag and it opens up to two angles, 180 degrees and 45 degrees angle. When you're using it on your bag, I prefer to use it at the 45 degree angle. So, in order to keep it at the 45 de degree angle, you can just use the Velcro strap and clip it on and you're good to go. Guys, moving on to the back of the bag, that's where your shoulder straps are. It's quite padded even if you're carrying heavy stuff it will be able to take the stress back is all mesh as well so if you're a sweaty person it sucks all your your sweat in this part is where the magic happens this is where the easy access compartment come in there are two slots here where you can put in your stuff that you need to take out on a regular basis so i like to put my wallet here i like to put my phone here and then there is another slot here so it's all very well thought and designed carefully. Even here, over here, you get a luggage strap so you can strap it onto your, your luggage when you're traveling and if you don't feel like carrying it on your back. The handle here, the same as the luggage strap, a seat belt material, but this is heavily padded and it is very strong. Even here, there is a slot for you to put in your Oyster card, your MRT card, you know, easy access if you are taking the train. There is another one here and it's slotted in so it won't fall out, although there is no zip. Now the other well thought out feature that they added to this bag, which simply amazes me, they really think of the, the, the smallest things, is this. So they actually added a Velcro to the end of the strap itself. So if you've got any excess strap material, you can just roll it up and then just secure it with the Velcro itself and you're good to go. You know, it's like kind of in the army days, you know, the first day you, you kind of had to black tape your fuel pack. I wish the army fuel pack had this. Now the back of the bag, you see there are two major slots here with straps and this is to hook your tablet and your laptop in place. So the laptop compartment holds up to a 15 inch laptop, which is what I've got here. 
and you just slot it in. It's very snug if you use a 15 inch laptop. It's even harder for thieves to take it out. Now with this strap, if you don't want to, you can don't use the strap altogether. And for this compartment, you can hold your tablet. I believe it fits an iPad mini. Uh, I've got here my cheap ass Honda tablet from China and it fits exactly into the slot. And you can also strap it if you want to. Uh, but my tablet is not big enough so yeah it goes there so over here at the front shell of the back this is made of several pieces of fabric and is slash proof at the last layer so people will not be able to cut through your back it also features several reflective points around the back to keep you safe if you're riding your bicycle or scooter at night so traffic can be aware of you so this is reflective and you have small little cuts here where this is reflective as well. So it's an all round reflective design and the same for this side of the bag. Now on the inside, you'll be greeted with a padded compartment here. And this is where I used to store all my keys to prevent them from scratching other stuff in my bag. There is several pen compartments where you can slot in your pen. This part here, you can also put in some stuff in this compartment. I like to put in my power bank here at this compartment and there's more to it see this wire over here this is actually the link to an external USB port where you can charge your phone take this wire and put this into your power bank you will now have power powering an external port to charge your device while on the go and now you have power at this USB port here where you can just charge any device on the go you will see two more padded compartments right at the bottom you can actually put a a water bottle here if you're always this you can even use this to put an SLR camera but the body and the lens have to be detached so you can put your lens here and you can put your SLR camera body here this will protect your camera from any harm because it's all padded bad news is if you're a photographer and you're thirsty there's no place to put your bottle so I like to carry my bottle around and I put it here uh, this is my headphones maybe I'll just chuck it here carry a laptop of course you need a mouse you can also chuck it here the rest of the space you can actually put some additional stuff stuff it in close it up and you're good to go so there you have it guys the Bobby bag by XD design now I've used this bag for about two times now and I can say that I really really like this bag mainly because if even if i put a lot of stuff on the back it doesn't feel heavy the weight is very centralized therefore making the the back a bit lighter and easier on your shoulders and the design is quite slick as well true story i've used it two times and on both occasions i have friends asking me about this bag where can they get it from because they really like the design so points for the design and the weight distribution the other things i like is of course the quick charging access where you can just plug in your phone and charge it as you go along other than that you know it's 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 anti tap you know nobody can break in the luggage strap is a bonus a bit pricey at 78 singapore dollars but it's it's really a good bag and i felt that the money was worth it so I highly recommend this bag to you guys sincerely because I'm using it as my daily man bag now and I would spend that money for this bag and I recommend it to you guys as well. If you're in the market looking for a good backpack, this is the one to go for. And with that, we're going to end off the video. Hope you guys like it. And this is Paul here signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.